Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And can you believe it is the end of September already? I am filming this ahead of time because when you are viewing this, I will be on vacation. So I thought I'd go through this real quick with you before I leave. And I can see a couple of places where I need maybe a little bit more glue. This is trying to pick up here. So this is uh, the Marguerite Miller Challenge, week 36. And for this one, I needed a button, which I put in the middle of my something that's tint spin turns or spins. I found a, a bicycle. I figured that the, those wheels turn, so we're good on that. Anything postal related? This was a stamp that I made oh, back when I first started work doing this, and I didn't have any ephemera of any sort. I didn't have any decorations and I made a bunch of these stamps. I probably will make a bunch more because I'm almost out of them. Something that lays eggs, a bird, I have a cardinal here, and uh, a photo is also the bird. And then the bonus is a floral pattern and I liked this pretty pattern. It says happy birthday. It's not something I will ever use anywhere else. And so I thought, yeah, we'll throw that in there. In the background on here, the substrate is an old um, folder. Uh, and I used, actually, I made a one of these things out of it. I made one of these out of that. But it's for my Christmas stuff, and it's packed away with my Christmas things right now. So I'm not going to get it out. Okay, so that's week 36. Week 37. This one actually tells a story, believe it or not. So I had to have a plane, train, or automobile, so I have a train up here, and we're going on vacation. The decorative napkin, and we're going on vacation to the shore, but we're also going to take an excursion up into the mountains where we might see a bear that's something found in the mountains. A dictionary page, well, you know, sometimes you got to look up those words because people use words you don't know. An interesting building, one of the places we went was... Williamsburg. This is Williamsburg, Virginia. That's the governor's house. What I did not put in here was the bonus, which was a paper clip or bread, because I did. I liked the way it was just that way. I didn't want to add anything else to it. So that was fun. All right, week 38, something found in a kitchen. I have, um, I think that's supposed to be a whisk. I don't know what that's supposed to be on this paper. Um, but these obviously are rolling pins. This was a scrap left over from the kitchen journal that I have made that is, by the way, still for sale. A color that reminds me of summer, green. I love the greens of summer. This is a book page. Um, it, this is actually suggested reading. And something with holes. Now, not everybody will know what that is, but those of you of a certain age, like my age, recognize that as the uh, printer paper that was the with a daisy wheel printer. Those of us who are a little bit older, we remember using those, having to line up those holes, make sure it went through all right. A musical instrument. This was a, a, just a sheet I had of musical instruments. These were the last three things left on it, so I used it. And any kind of tag. The Water Active Lifestyle brand, Rugged Shark. I don't know what that was from. Something my husband bought, I, probably. He knows to save his tags. So that's week 38. Week 39. So in week 39, I needed something noisy. So I have an old phonograph, a personal goal or ambition. I want to live to 100 years of, old, of age. I think it would be very cool to see an entire century. So I have to live till 2057. There, now you know when I was born. 2057, that's my goal, is to make it to 2057. Um, so a tree with leaves that are not green. I have the same guy that took the picture of the cardinal, took the picture of the maple tree. This is Matt Robbins. Um, if I remember, excuse me, if I remember, I will put a link to his stuff down below. Um, he's a friend of mine who is a photographer, a great nature photographer. Um, he did a calendar a few years back. I cut his pictures out. Text in a foreign language that's German. That's from a digital that I picked up somewhere along the line. Something I'm thankful for. I was just going to use the word health because I'm thankful for my health. But I found it on the top of my one of my statements. And I thought, you know, Rochester Regional Health, I'm actually thankful for them as well. Uh, they are a corporation, and I know it sounds weird, 
but they took care of my parents all of their lives and did a really good job of it. Um, and they helped, you know, when my dad went into hospice, they were very um, helpful with that and getting us all set up for that. Some of my doctors are with Rochester Regional Health now. Some are with Strong. Uh, doesn't really matter. We have two, a couple different um, companies down here. But uh, so I'm thankful for Rochester Regional Health. And a color I don't use often is black. I found a black piece of paper and I threw it back there because I don't use it very often. All right. That's it for September. I hope you're having a great time. When By the time you see this, I will have been in Disney World for two whole days. So I'm having a good time and I'll see you soon. This is Cindy signing off.